foods to avoid or limit if you have bad kidneys. You know that our bodies are like intricate machines, and every part needs to function correctly for the whole system to run smoothly. The kidneys are an essential part of this machine quietly and efficiently clearing our bodies of toxins. But, did you know that what you eat can significantly impact your kidneys' health? Yes, certain foods can be kidney-friendly, while others can put extra strain on these little yet powerful organs. This video is going to reveal 12 foods that you might be consuming daily, which could potentially be sabotaging the health of your kidneys. So whether you're looking to boost your kidney health, or if you have been advised to follow a kidney-friendly diet, this video is your go-to guide. Stick around and prepare to be surprised. You might just discover that some everyday favorites are actually undercover kidney culprits. Let's dive right in. 1. Pickles Let's start with a beloved food item that often adorns our tables and sandwiches, pickles. As tantalizing as their tangy taste may be, it's worth noting that pickles can potentially have a detrimental effect on our kidneys. The main concern with pickles, and a reason why those with kidney troubles might want to avoid them, is their high sodium content. You see, when we eat a lot of salty foods like pickles, it makes it harder for our kidneys to remove the excess salt from our bodies. This can lead to sodium retention, and subsequently, cause a rise in blood pressure, putting more strain on your kidneys. Over time, high blood pressure can damage the nephrons, the tiny units inside your kidney where blood is cleaned. What's more, the vinegar used in pickling can also have a harmful effect. It is a source of acid that, when consumed in large quantities, can cause your body's pH to become more acidic, making it more difficult for your kidneys to maintain a balance. This metabolic acidosis can lead to kidney stones, another kidney enemy that we want to avoid. But that's not all. High sodium intake can also have other adverse effects on your body. It can cause fluid buildup in people with congestive heart failure, cirrhosis, or edema causing swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet. High blood pressure from excess sodium can also increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. So while a pickle or two once in a while may not pose a significant risk, frequent and high consumption may not be the best for your kidneys and overall health. 2. Avocados Moving on to our second food, it might come as a surprise to many especially given its popularity in recent years, avocados. As healthy and nutrient-dense as they are, they can pose problems for those with kidney concerns. Here's why. Avocados are high in potassium, which in normal amounts is vital for our bodies. It helps maintain electrical gradients in your body's cells and serves various important functions. However, for those with kidney problems, this high potassium content can be a problem. When your kidneys aren't functioning fully, they may not be able to remove excess potassium from the blood. This can lead to a condition known as hyperkalemia, which if left unchecked, can cause heart rhythm problems and even cardiac arrest. Moreover, avocados are also high in calories, with a single fruit containing over 200 calories. While they are packed with healthy fats and fiber, their calorie content can contribute to weight gain if eaten in excess. Overweight and obesity are risk factors for kidney disease because they increase the strain on your kidneys, forcing them to work harder to filter out toxins from your body. Furthermore, obesity is a risk factor for diabetes and hypertension, two leading causes of kidney disease. So while avocados can certainly be a part of a healthy diet, they should be eaten in moderation especially if you have been advised to follow a low-potassium or low-calorie diet due to kidney health concerns. 3. Red Meat Let's march forward to our third food, something that's a staple in many of our diets, red meat. Although it's a great source of protein and nutrients like iron and vitamin B12, too much red meat might not be the best choice for your kidneys. Red meat is high in protein. And while protein is essential for health, too much can increase the metabolic load on your kidneys. 
when your kidneys are already weakened, a high-protein diet can cause further harm. The kidneys have to work harder to remove the waste products of protein metabolism, including urea and uric acid. This could accelerate the progression of kidney disease in those who already have compromised kidney function. Additionally, red meat is also known to be a significant source of saturated fats. These fats can increase the level of bad LDL cholesterol in your body, contributing to the buildup of plaques in your arteries. This condition, known as atherosclerosis, can lead to high blood pressure, a known risk factor for kidney disease. Also, some research suggests that red meat can lead to the formation of kidney stones. It's believed to increase the excretion of calcium and decrease the excretion of citrate into your urine, a combination that can lead to the formation of these painful stones. Beyond kidney health, consuming too much red meat has also been associated with a range of health problems including heart disease, certain types of cancer, and type 2 diabetes. While red meat can definitely be part of a balanced diet, it should be consumed in moderation, particularly if you have kidney concerns. 4. Spinach As we move on to our fourth food, you may be surprised. Isn't spinach supposed to be one of the healthiest foods out there? Yes, it indeed is, but when it comes to kidney health, there are a few things you need to consider. Spinach, particularly when raw or lightly cooked, is high in potassium and oxalates. As we discussed with avocados, too much potassium can be problematic for people with kidney problems, leading to dangerous heart rhythms. Oxalates are natural compounds found in certain foods that, when consumed in large amounts, can crystallize and form kidney stones. These tiny, hard deposits can cause severe pain and can damage the kidneys. For those prone to forming kidney stones, or those with existing kidney disease, Consuming high oxalate foods like spinach may not be the best choice. Additionally, spinach is high in vitamin K1, which is essential for blood clotting. However, if you're on certain blood thinners, too much vitamin K can counteract their effectiveness. While this isn't directly related to kidney health, it can impact overall wellness, especially in people with cardiovascular issues, which often coincide with kidney problems. So while spinach is a superfood with plenty of nutrients and should not be entirely eliminated from your diet, it is crucial to eat it in moderation, especially if you've been advised to follow a low potassium or low oxalate diet due to kidney health concerns. 5. Dark Colored Colas Our fifth food is something that is quite popular, especially during the hot summer months or at parties, dark colored colas. While these fizzy drinks can be quite refreshing and tempting, they might not be the friendliest choice for your kidneys. Here's why. Dark-colored colas are typically high in phosphoric acid, which is used to give these beverages their characteristic tangy flavor and prevent the growth of molds and bacteria. However, high intake of phosphoric acid has been linked to kidney stones and other renal problems. It seems to increase the urinary excretion of calcium, which can combine with other waste products to form kidney stones. Moreover, these drinks often contain high amounts of sugar. Too much sugar can lead to weight gain and obesity, which, as we discussed earlier, can strain your kidneys and increase the risk of kidney disease. But it doesn't stop at kidney damage. High sugar content can increase your risk of heart disease cavities, and can contribute to insulin resistance, leading to type 2 diabetes. Additionally, the caffeine content in colas can lead to dehydration, another factor that could potentially harm your kidneys, especially if you're not consuming enough water throughout the day. So while the occasional dark-colored cola might not be a problem, regular and high consumption could potentially harm your kidneys and overall health. 6. Beans and lentils. Moving on to our sixth food, beans and lentils, essential sources of plant based protein, fiber, and various nutrients. However, for those with kidney concerns, 
these wholesome foods need to be eaten with a bit of caution. Let's delve into why. Beans and lentils are high in potassium and phosphorus, two minerals that can pose a problem for individuals with compromised kidney function. As we've discussed earlier, when kidneys are not able to filter out excess potassium, it can lead to hyperkalemia, a dangerous condition that can cause heart rhythm problems. Similarly, healthy kidneys typically filter out excess phosphorus in our blood. However, in people with kidney disease, the kidneys cannot remove phosphorus very efficiently. High levels of phosphorus can affect your body's ability to use calcium, leading to bone problems. It can also cause itchy skin, and at very high levels, it can cause hardening of the arteries, increasing your risk of heart disease. Despite these potential issues, it's important to remember that beans and lentils are highly nutritious and can form part of a balanced diet. If you have kidney concerns and your doctor has advised limiting these foods, you can reduce their potassium and phosphorus content by soaking, sprouting, or boiling them. Additionally, while beans and lentils are generally healthy, they can cause digestive problems in some people. This is because they contain a type of carbohydrate that's hard for our bodies to break down, leading to gas and bloating. So while beans and lentils have numerous health benefits, they need to be consumed with caution if you have kidney concerns, and should be prepared properly to minimize potential side effects. 7. Bananas Next up, we have a favorite fruit of many, the humble banana. Nutritious, portable, and delicious, bananas are certainly an easy addition to many diets. However, they may not be the best choice for individuals with kidney issues, and here's why. Bananas are exceptionally high in potassium. One medium-sized banana can contain as much as 422 mg of potassium, which is a significant amount, especially for those with kidney problems. While most people can safely enjoy bananas, those who have been advised to follow a low-potassium diet due to kidney problems may need to limit or avoid them. In addition, while bananas can offer an array of benefits like promoting feelings of fullness and aiding digestive health, they can sometimes cause issues for certain individuals. For instance, some people may have an allergy to bananas, experiencing symptoms such as itching, swelling, and wheezing. Bananas can also contribute to sleepiness due to their magnesium content, and their sugar content can lead to a sugar spike if consumed excessively. So while bananas can be a beneficial part of a healthy diet, those with kidney concerns and others may need to pay careful attention to their banana consumption. 8. Tomatoes Advancing to our eighth food, let's talk about a staple in many of our kitchens, the versatile and flavorful tomato. While tomatoes are generally healthy and packed with beneficial nutrients, there are certain circumstances, particularly concerning kidney health, where caution is needed. Tomatoes are rich in potassium. One medium-sized tomato can contain as much as 292 mg of this vital mineral. Tomatoes also contain a fair amount of oxalates. These are natural compounds found in a variety of foods and consuming too much can lead to the formation of kidney stones in susceptible individuals. Tomatoes contain a compound called solanine, which some people might be sensitive to, causing inflammation and joint pain, especially in those with arthritis. They are also acidic, which can lead to heartburn or acid reflux in susceptible individuals. Remember, tomatoes are generally a healthy food, loaded with vitamin C, lycopene, and other antioxidants. But if you have been advised to follow a low-potassium or low-oxalate diet due to kidney health concerns, you might need to limit your tomato consumption. 9. Dairy Products On to our ninth food category, Dairy Products. Though they're excellent sources of essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D, they could potentially pose challenges for those with kidney issues. One of the primary reasons is that dairy products are high in phosphorus. While phosphorus is vital for bone health, in those with kidney disease, 
the kidneys can't remove excess phosphorus effectively. This can lead to high phosphorus levels in the blood, which can pull calcium from your bones, making them weak and prone to fractures. It can also result in itchy skin, and at very high levels, it can cause hardening of the arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. Dairy products also contain a significant amount of protein, making it harder for them to eliminate all the waste products of protein metabolism. Moreover, dairy products can sometimes lead to other health issues. They're high in saturated fats, which can contribute to heart disease by raising your LDL cholesterol levels. They can also cause digestive issues for people who are lactose intolerant, leading to symptoms like bloating, diarrhea, and gas. So while dairy products have their place in a balanced diet, it's important to consume them in moderation, particularly if you have kidney problems. 10. Oranges Let's now turn our attention to our 10th food, a citrus favorite of many oranges. Known for their high vitamin C content and refreshing taste, oranges are generally seen as a healthy choice. But if you're dealing with kidney issues, you might want to reconsider. Oranges, along with orange juice, are high in potassium. One medium orange has about 237 milligrams of potassium, and one cup of orange juice can have as much as 496 milligrams. In addition, oranges are acidic. For individuals prone to heartburn or acid reflux, consuming oranges can trigger these conditions, causing discomfort. They can also contribute to the formation of kidney stones in susceptible individuals, as they contain certain types of oxalates that can bind with calcium in the urine and form stones. However, that despite these potential issues, oranges offer plenty of health benefits, including a powerful dose of immune-boosting vitamin C. So, unless you've been specifically advised to limit potassium intake due to kidney concerns, or you have other health issues related to acidity or oxalates, you need not banish oranges from your diet. 11. Processed Meats Next on our list, at number 11, we have processed meats. These include foods like ham, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, and deli meats. While these might be delicious and convenient, they could potentially spell trouble for your kidneys. Let's uncover why. Firstly, processed meats are typically high in sodium. Too much sodium can raise blood pressure levels, and high blood pressure is a leading cause of kidney damage. Over time, the increased pressure can overwork and strain the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Secondly, processed meats often have a high protein content. Moreover, processed meats are also associated with other health concerns. They're often high in saturated and trans fats which can increase the risk of heart disease. Processed meats have also been classified as a group 1 carcinogen, meaning there's strong evidence that they can cause cancer. In the context of overall health, it's recommended to limit the consumption of processed meats and opt for lean, unprocessed meats or plant-based protein sources instead. 12. Kin soups and ready meals. And finally, at number 12, we have canned soups and ready meals. While they can be a lifesaver for a quick meal when you're short on time, they may not be the best choice if you're concerned about your kidney health. One of the main issues with canned soups and ready meals is their typically high sodium content. They often contain added salt to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. Additionally, these meals often contain food additives and preservatives, some of which have been linked to kidney damage. For instance, phosphates are commonly used in processed foods to enhance flavor and preserve freshness. Aside from kidney health, these convenience foods often lack essential nutrients and are high in unhealthy fats and sugars. This can contribute to weight gain, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, they often contain additives and preservatives that some people may be allergic or sensitive to causing symptoms such as headaches, bloating, and fatigue. While they can provide a quick and easy meal solution, 
it's best to limit the consumption of canned soups and ready meals, particularly if you're mindful of your kidney health. Opt for fresh, home-cooked meals whenever possible, giving you control over the ingredients and nutrient content. And there you have it, folks, our comprehensive journey through the 12 foods to avoid or limit if you have bad kidneys. Remember, what we put into our bodies has a profound impact on our health, and our kidneys, those silent and often overlooked, play a pivotal role in our overall well-being. It's important to stress that while these foods can potentially impact kidney health, most of them have their place in a balanced, nutritious diet when consumed in moderation and with the right preparation. If you have kidney concerns, it's always best to talk to your doctor or a dietitian who can provide personalized advice based on your health condition and dietary needs. Finally, never forget that the essence of a healthy diet is balance, variety, and moderation. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We always strive to bring you the best health tips and insights to ensure your journey to wellness is well-informed and enjoyable. Remember, you have the power to influence your health with every bite you take. Choose wisely, live well, and until next time, stay healthy.